Hey guys, I would be here. Have you ever in your backyard and you wish the outdoor Z-Wave lighting was on? Or you wish you had some uh, background music while you're gardening or talking to friends, whatever? Uh, so what do you do? You pull your phone out, assuming you remember to bring it with you. Um, and then you got to navigate to one app, turn the lighting on, go to a different app, turn the uh, uh, music on, uh, hoping it connects this whole time. Uh, in the meantime, you could be talking to your friends, having a beer, doing the gardening, doing whatever it is you want. Let me show you what I did this weekend that's a much better way. So here's my backyard. What did I decide to do? I put in a bank of light switches right here, and each one of these things can be set up to do a custom set of tasks programmable via the computer. How? Well, let me first walk you through the wiring. I have an ELK input expander hooked up to the M1 Gold that I have dedicated just to fun little stupid things like this. You'll see what I did is I took a Cat5 cable, and let me zoom in on this, um, ran each one of the uh, pairs into its own zone uh, on the one end. Let's take a look at the switch side. And here you can see each one of those pairs is hooked into its own switch. So what happens is you flip the switch, uh, that zone on the elk will show closed. Open the switch, that zone in the elk will show open. Now let's go to the uh, elk software. Here's the four zones that I ran those cables into. Uh, clicking into any one of these things, it's a non-alarm zone since this is not a security thing, obviously. Uh, the uh, normally open closed, it doesn't really matter. I called normally closed, it's just a toggle anyhow. I have my home automation controller, CQC, charmcork.com, uh, monitor this thing. Uh, if you use home here, open hab, um, uh, you'd have to ask one of those guys how to handle this. I'll show you how I set up CQC though. And step one in CQC is give everything an English name, because seriously, who's going to want to remember 91, 92, etc. So you go in here, you type in uh, whatever you want. I actually went ahead and did that already. And uh, you, now you have a pretty little name. And then you can see here, this is the actual live value. Uh, I guess I left those things in the off position, which is it's irrelevant since this is a, a toggle. But this is what the event manager, CQC's event manager, will monitor. Let's go take a look at that. All right, I actually decided to delete my triggered event, so I will build it for you right now and can see how easy this is. Uh, so I go in here and I click in a new file. I'm going to say Backyard Lights. And then clicking into that, I can even make it a longer, you know, longer title for Backyard Lights. And the event I'm going to be looking for is a field change um, for, uh, what field is it now? It's the elk, and I'm going to pause this for one sec because so you don't see anything sensitive. And you can see here I just scroll down to the field that we uh, just gave that name, which is the backyard light, uh, light status. And now let's go click Edit Action. And this will be an if-then-else because uh, if it's on, I'm going to turn it off, and if it's off, I'm going to turn it on. So what is that I'm going to do? I am going to take a look at, insert in a field, the backyard lighting is, oh, God, what did I call that driver? Lighting, right? And that is the uh, da, 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 <laughs> backyard, right? And if it is true, then I am going to do a write command that says, what field am I looking at here? If the lighting is true, then let's make the lighting, uh, I just scroll past it, false. And guess what I'll do otherwise? <laughs> if it is um, false, then I'm going to just set it to true. And there you go. That is how you turn lighting uh, on or off. Uh, I could have done the same thing with Spotify. Turn the, uh, I have actually a, a, a command, a, an event already, to uh, fire up a Spotify playlist. Uh, but you get the gist. Um, and you can ask over on the CQC forums if you want the exact mechanics of that. Use uh, uh, Home Seer, uh, Open Have, or Home Assistant, or one of those things. Uh, that code will be uh, unique to them, so you're going to want to ask on their forums. There you have it. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Now I can flip those lights on and off and take a couple of seconds and listen to music, uh, whatever I want to do. Thanks for watching.